I created a football demi god. He has more 20s than you can ever imagine, and he's six foot 11. Could he be the most perfect player ever? Well, we're gonna try and simulate his career and see how he does. And maybe we'll even jump in at the end and take over and see how much damage we can cause with this player. So I simulated one full season to see where he would go to begin with. And we have ended up at Aston Villa in the Premier League. I'm actually quite surprised, to be honest. I'm sure you all thought it, he would go to one of the bigger clubs, as did I. But as you can see, a free transfer here. He moved to Aston Villa. His decision was Aston Villa at 16 years of age, 6 foot 11, 20s, absolutely everywhere. How did he do? Well, he played 34 games and he only scored 22 goals and got himself eight assists, but he did did get 25 man of the matches and almost a nine for his average rating, which of course is absolutely mental. Aston Villa, just in case you are wondering, finished in eighth place. So they did okay. He was the top scorer of the league, the highest average rated, the most man of the matches, of course. But I maybe was expecting a little bit something better. Let's go a little bit further on. Okay, so we've gone about five or six years later, 2027, and we are looking at Demigod in Liverpool. He's only 22 years of age, so he still has a very long way to go. Now, at this point of his career, I've actually fixed his attributes. As you can see, I used the editor at some point here to fix his attributes to make sure none of them fluctuated if he was at a bad team, for instance. But he looks fantastic, doesn't he? We've obviously given some decent player traits. So, he moved to Liverpool. For how much? And when? Well, he moved after the, or during the second season for £90 million. So in the January transfer window, they picked him up for £90 million. Villa, I feel like you were robbed because you let Jack Grealish go for even more than that. That makes no sense to me. Anyway, his Liverpool career. Still, he hasn't had a season where he scored more goals than games. That kind of worries me. Like, this guy's six foot seven and he has 20s everywhere. Surely you should just be having him score goals at any cost. He should just be scoring every game, more than one goal a game. I, I don't understand it. I mean, obviously his, his average rating is ridiculous and he is getting a lot of assists. But I'm just really curious because he's, he can only play as a striker and surely you'd use him as a striker. So are they using him in a bad role? What's their formation? What are they? He's used as a lone striker as well. They've got some decent players. They've obviously won the league. They still got Klopp there. They've won the league by just a point over Manchester City. Again, he's a top scorer. Again, the highest average rating. Again, the most assists this season alone anyway. And Liverpool, they actually didn't win the season. They didn't win the league the season before. So he's felt a lot of uh, losses, which I guess I didn't expect him to, to feel. So I think we should go a little bit further on and then of course we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna take control of him and I expect to do a lot better than this. Okay, we return 2038. I'm expecting more. He's 33 years of age now. Let's see how he's been doing. It's, I don't know. Am I feeling a little bit underwhelmed? Yes. I expected there to be at least a 40 goal season. I really did. Especially at Liverpool, because I'd imagine they probably have then recruited the best players in the world to go alongside him. He has had a nine average rating for the whole season, which is ridiculous, by the way. 27 player of the matches. He's had a season with 29 players the matches there 30 down an 8.89 so he's had some extraordinary seasons it's just not showing mainly in the statistics he's not obviously doing anything wrong but again a lot of these goals are penalties like he's actually missing penalties he's got 20 for everything and he's still missing penalties i really do think the penalty thing is a myth to be honest because the amount of goals i scored with simon minilay on last year's game and he has two for penalties very bad composure was ridiculous he's got 14 in a row oh geez will remember that but still i'm disappointed in this let's see whether Liverpool, they've won the league here, they're still not winning every season, which is ridiculous. They're still not winning every season. Man City is hot on their tails every single time, and it really does baffle me how they are not able to do... Why are they finishing fourth? They actually finished in fourth place one season, second again, second again. I am so shocked. When you have this guy on your team, how are you finishing in fourth place? Really does worry me. He's coming towards the end of his, season, his career now, 33. This is where I think at 35, I took off three attributes because I wanted to see how quickly he declined and whether he could still do it at his best. So we're going to find that point and then we'll take control. 
and I promise you I'll do better than this, surely. So, he actually retires the season after this, but of course, once he retires, you can never see his statistics, so we're gonna see how he does here. As you can see, a lot of things have dropped off, and it does, like, worry me, really, with Football Manager. Things drop off, which I don't really expect to drop off, like dribbling. Personally, I don't think because you get older, your dribbling gets worse. If anything, your dribbling should get better because your physicals aren't as good. You wanna keep hold of the ball more, but hey, this is how they deem it. He still has that 20 natural fitness, which will carry him on on a little bit longer. At 39 years of age though, he is still scoring 13 goals, getting 7 assists and 7 player. The match is still getting good average rating and for the last 3 seasons it looks like he has started to struggle. But he did continue getting 20 goals at least a season until last season. This isn't good enough. I need to take control of this. Okay, so I've taken control of Liverpool and first I'm gonna try my Fiorentina 4 triple two tactic. Of course, if you want to download this tactic, the link to my Discord is down in the description. Then it's on the tactics download section of my Discord. That's where you can find this tactic. We are taking over the season after they finish second in the league. So we're gonna try and do something here. He of course is going in that advanced forward position because I think this is the best position for him. He looks incredible, absolutely amazing as an advanced forward. Forward. This is going to make the most out of this player. Let's see what we can do with Demigod. Okay, now this is phenomenal. 94 points, we've won the league. What I am shocked with is 160 goals in just 38 games. So let's take a look at the statistics. We've broke the game. We've absolutely broke the game. Demigod has scored 79 league goals just in the Premier League. That's Dixie Dean's record gone. That is the most goals I've ever scored. I've ever seen scored in a Premier League season on this game in any experiment. And obviously, of course, it's kind of expected he is one of the best players to ever be created. I could have just done 20 for everything, but I didn't. I just kept it for more striker base. Anything that would help a striker, that's what I've done. And that's, that's phenomenal. 153 goals down the bottom here. 153 goals were scored across the season. And continental competitions, in 17 games, he scored 44. So they must have done well in the champ. They've won the Champions League easily. They actually didn't win the FA Cup with him doing this, which is amazing. They did get to the semi final, but they did win. He scored 29 goals alone in the Champions League. That's phenomenal. So that's, that's outstanding. 79 goals. And the season before, he had a better average rating. How, how, how has that happened? I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. He's got 79 goals. How are you giving him anything under a 10? Because he's obviously scored in every single game. Like There, there cannot be a game where he did not score in. I want to flick through this and I'll, I bet I'd see his name every single... He didn't score there. Every single game, we should be seeing his name because he's got 79 goals. So how is he not getting a 10 out of 10 every time? That's amazing. Okay, I want to try another tactic. I don't want to try my tactic again. I want to see if it works with another tactic. So let's have a look. Right, we're going to try the Nat Parisian tactic. And I've shown this, I highlighted this in the 38 and 0 challenge video. In case you haven't seen that, I won't give a spoiler. But basically, we try and win 38 games in a season out of the 38 games with Lionel Messi's PSG side. So if you haven't seen that, go check that one out. But we have highlighted this tactic in that video, and it's quite extraordinary stuff. I know this is a very good OP tactic. And we have built a tactic around an advanced forward demigod again so he is sitting in that role let's see how we do so we do actually win the league unbeaten so we've done better than the previous tactic however the goals for is slightly less three goals less but maybe it's a little bit more defensive than my four triple two tactic we drew three games against chelsea united and city good signs how did he do well statistics 83 league goals. He beat the 79. We broke the game completely. That's insane. He eight, eight, only got 8.55. I don't get it. I literally don't get it. How can a player score 83 goals in 38 games and get less than nine as his average rating? That's that's an amazing. 26 player of the matches only, which I find shocking. Now, he only actually scored 120, only scored 127 goals, which I think is like 20 less than what he scored in my four triple two. So he didn't quite do it in continental competitions or cup competitions, but he got more in the league. So it kind of balances it out slightly. Competitions wise, they did win the Champions League again, beating Real Madrid. And yet again, they didn't win the FA Cup. They were knocked down the third round. How? How were they knocked down the third round? That's amazing. Carabao Cup 
they were the winners of. So they've kind of done the same thing. They've won the treble and he has been the best goal scorer in the world. This is the season after as well. So I, I bet if we typed in the Ballon d'Or, surely he's won it. There's there's no way he, yeah, he's won it like every single year. We did check that beforehand. That might have been a good idea. So he has won it every single year, but that is, that is phenomenal. So viewers, I'm going to leave you on that. We created a demigod and I think we broke the game. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.